Hello, hello, hello. It's Brandy Janae here. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel today. In today's video, I am going to be doing a flip through of my July daily. So if you're interested in seeing this flip through, please be sure to stay tuned. All right, great. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel again today. My name is Brandy Janae. If you're new here and if you're returning, I would like to welcome you back. So like I said, I'm going to be doing a flip through of my July. So here's my monthly, which you can see is pretty basic. I'm still working on this. <laughs> um, I got this set up a little bit later, so... I just kind of threw some stickers in there um but oh and then i was playing around with some stuff here and then i started here and this is like no kits so this is just some washi tape and some stickers that i just had kind of laying around and then again playing with this sticker i realized i am not a tracker which i already kind of knew that but i wanted to try it again and yeah nope no tracking so this is another one with no kit. This is just using some stickers from Happy Planner, some icons and some words from my shop. And then I think these little clear ones, the food ones are from Cloth and Paper Co. And the little truck is from Cloth and Paper Co. So yeah, I was trying to do the weather up in here, which is pretty cool. I attempted to do this just one July that oh really Alana had mentioned in her one of her videos, but as you will see as time goes, that I also failed at that. But yeah, I really like the daily. I really like the scriptures, which again I will you'll see that I kind of evolve over time. But I do really like having that there to kind of look at throughout the day and reference. Then I started making this fancy and put a grocery list here. Now this is kind of like. I was like, oh, maybe I could just write the things that I normally get so I knew what to check for when I went to the stores and then never really referred back to that. So, boom, boom. And then here's another one with no kit. I'm using some washi from Simply Gilded, some sticker. Oh, I'm sorry. These are stickers from a kit, but they're like some leftover ones that I had from Rachel May Sticker Co. So I just threw those in and then matched them with some Simply Gilded washi. And again, the icons are from my shop and the scripts are from my shop as well. And even these little weather trackers. And I'm saying my shop loosely because I haven't actually posted any of these things on my shop, but I did make them. So, <laughs> um, so here's this page. Again, I tried to track. Uh, oh, this was kind of like a mood tracker was what I was doing like how how many stars I would give the day as you can see I didn't well no I did it every day but this was just like a zero star day which meant it was a really bad day and then the same with this one it was a really bad day I did go on a trip this day so I used some stickers from the happy planner book and then this is when I started using the kits from black mountain stickers and I am still obsessed with them so this week I was out of town for a work conference. So it, the planning is very minimal because again, I spent the majority of the time doing conference stuff. So I really didn't have to write a bunch of things in. But I just love how pretty these stickers are. And then at the end of the week, we had the 31 conference in Columbus as well. And so, you know, I was still traveling. So again, there wasn't very many plans. Not that I really have very many plans in general because I just don't. But I do like the daily, mostly for the scripture, because I've always had to use two separate planners and I really don't want to do that. So I really enjoy the daily page, if nothing else, for this here. And then that the kits from Black Mountain Stickers comes with this little page here, which I thought was a much more effective use of my time. As you can see, I don't need this event space the next week. I don't need any of that. But I do enjoy having this future list so i made use of this space which i like i said i do really enjoy having that so i'm able to write upcoming events or like pre-planning or whatever on here instead of doing it in the monthly or on some other device or whatever 
And so here's another kit, which I love. But yeah, for the most part, I just work. Like, I really just work a lot. So that's pretty much my day-to-day -day functions. Looks like Thursday, I was just like, mm, I'm not putting anything in. But yeah, just kind of work. Try to keep the weather. Oh, I started trying to do my steps, which has been cool because I've been able to notice like different trends on different days of how many steps I'm taking. And then again, I have some um, like what's happening the next week. And this is just what I know of before the week starts. Once the week actually starts, I obviously don't write anything in this section anymore. I just then go ahead and write it in the actual day where it goes. So anyway, overall, I am absolutely loving this daily planner. Like I wasn't sure about it because I've tried dailies before. And because I don't really have a ton to do day to day, I was like, I don't need a daily planner. But it really does kind of help me stay on track a little bit better. The only thing I'm trying to figure out now is do I actually need to carry this with me day to day? Or is this something I can kind of leave at home out of my desk and reference from day to day? So I don't know. That's what I'm still kind of trying to work out in my mind at this point. So we'll see. But anyway, that is the end of this video. I would like to thank you all again for watching. Please leave me a comment below and let me know if you carry your day-to-day -day planner with you everywhere or if you just kind of have it sitting out as just a reference tool for the morning and the afternoons or, you know, whenever you get a chance to check it. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. And as always, have a good day, friends. Goodbye.